into the room. First question, Mike working off the athletic. In hey, Orleans, um, I was just thinking that block that you had on on Sadiq Bay when he was trying to get to the rim and dunk on you. I mean, like, what's your philosophy in terms of rim protection and, and guys trying to challenge you right at the rim? My philosophy. I mean, if you don't know, you're gonna find out. That's my philosophy. Um, just protecting the rim by any means. Um, I think it's a great, you know, aspect of my game that I try to, you know, play at a high level, and I think it opens up, you know, various things, you know, when they start coming. You know, not with the same emphasis, and you know you've done enough to change the game. So you know, just just come and you'll find out. Steve Popper, Newsday. You know, just the minutes you guys have played back to back, playing shorthanded to come up with an effort like this. Uh, kind of, what does it say about what you guys are are working towards here and what Thibodeau was preaching? Uh, just pure resilience. You know, this team is from 1 through 15. When guys go down, we've always had the mindset all year to, you know, stay ready. Um, you know, we got a lot of guys like Kev who's, you know, up next, and I think he's a great player that's, you know, going to get his opportunities as well. But, you know, from this whole team, it doesn't matter. Guys stay ready. Um, and, you know, we really have each other's back. So, you know, I think as the season continues, I mean, we'll only grow closer together and, you know, we'll keep that same mentality in our house. Berman, your post. Hey, Nerlens. Uh, when Mitchell Robinson broke his hand, uh, there was some concern how the team would fare, and the team is is really rolling. How happy are you with how you've stepped up uh, since Mitchell broke his hand? Um, I definitely don't want anybody to be hurt on this team, and I'm wishing Mitchell a speedy recovery. That's my brother. Um, but, you know, definitely just taking – taking that spot, you know, I've tried to really make a, you know, make it a focal point to try to man this team, you know, be the anchor on the defensive end and do all the small little things that will help us win the game. And, you know, I think I've been trying to do that at a high level and, uh, you know, play the right way. So guys have, you know, received very well. And I think as this season continues, I mean, this is a good stretch right here we're in. And we have to capitalize in a major way to, you know, really solidify our spot and where we want to be. So, yeah. Jeff Bondi, Daily News. You know, you've obviously played for, you know, a bunch of coaches. How, how different is Thibodeau, especially his influence on the defensive end? Tibbs is my dog, man. He just, you know, he's a, you, know, you just look at him and you know what you got to do. And, you know, he's um, definitely an exceptional coach that, you know, just gives you the energy that you need to go out there and do your job. You know, he holds everybody accountable at a high level and, you know, what is expected, you know, you know, he, um, you know, expects things at a high level. He expects guys to be playing together, making the right play, and defensively, you know, his track record record speaks for itself. Uh, you know, I knew when I was coming here, I knew it was a, like I said, match made in heaven. So I wanted to really capitalize on everything that he brings to the game and myself, and you know, just compliment his coaching style. Mike Porkinoff. Narrow you you you've known Julius back through the Kentucky days, obviously, like, what do you think of the way that he's playing this year compared to even last year or year before that in his career? You know, obviously it's my first time being on the same team with him. Kentucky, he was like a year out, he was a year after me. So, but just seeing his evolution, I mean, I remember playing against him last year, years before, and, you know, now he's just, it's just a different confidence, you know, it's, it's all-star, <laughs> you know, simply put, he shoots the ball with ultra confidence. Tonight he was, in his bag with the mid-range. So I think that's really, you know, taking a real step forward for him to, you know, be the leader of this team and, you know, lead by example. So, you know, Julius is just a fantastic person, fantastic player, and, you know, I've really been enjoying playing with him. Thank you, Narlins. Thank you, thank you.